All right, that's it, Mr. Centipede. I've had enough games. I've had enough games. I don't like... Why does everything... Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Ark Survival series. So, the last episode, uh, spoiler alert, wasn't exactly the most productive episode. Oh, that was not a job I needed to make! So today, it is my absolute promise to you guys that there will be zero deaths and much accomplished, okay? That is my promise to you guys at home. Um, apologies, I didn't- oh, Me and Matt had absolutely no idea that that cave would have lava in it, which would then give you the conditions of being hot the whole time, which passively drains your health. And then, of course, actually falling in the lava is GG. It's just like Minecraft. You lose everything. So, uh, quite an adventure, I would have to say, and hopefully... We will not go there until we are very prepared, um, but the centipedes aren't happening today. I'm actually going to go ahead and try to pick up, I think, um, a, a manta ray. And uh, I already know I'm going to call him. People who have watched my Strata Deep series know what he's going to be called. But uh, before we go ahead and do that, I do have an announcement for everybody. Yesterday, after the recording with Miola, um, we waited a couple hours and I came back on and tried to uh, rescue all the items that were in the chest. You guys remember we tried to put items in a chest because we know we didn't need them. Uh, well, I went back on one of the birds and uh, tried to recover the stuff. And unfortunately, um, it uh, it didn't exactly do go, go down great at all. And what happened specifically is that I took one of the birds, I think Pidgeot, took him all the way, but I carried Charmeleon with me as well. And uh, this was so I could dart through the cave and get through it easy and grab my items. Um, now, unfortunately, there was a part with a lava and that really small path and there was a scorpion and Charmeleon tried to jump over the scorpion and the scorpion said no. And the scorpion pushed Charmeleon and me into the lava and Char 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 Charmeleon's dead. So, I've adequately gone ahead and made a gravestone for him. Um, I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see it, but I can tell you now, I was shattered. Many F-bombs were dropped. Um, a couple other bad words as well. But, it is just, honestly, it's the saddest thing to happen ever. And, uh, I actually, I, I can't believe it. Like, rest in peace. What was the date that I, yes, this was the death of Charmeleon. Uh, ironically, a fire type that died in lava. Like, who would have thought? You know what's funny? In Pokemon Snap, when you throw the Charmeleon into the lava, he actually evolves into Charizard. Th this wasn't the case today. Or yesterday, actually. He just died. Um, so, peace out, Charmeleon. I'll see you in the next life. Hopefully in the next Pixelmon series, I'll see you then. So, uh, our boy Mr. Miola over here has actually uh, done us a little uh, bless up here. He's gone ahead and saved us the trouble of... Uh, I had a look at it before, but he's actually gone ahead and given us a full set of flak with... The uh, blue crossbows and everything else like died in. So, love you. Thank you very much. Even though you were the guy who did drop everything in the lava. Uh, <laughs> no, it was it was a joint fail last episode. It was a joint fail. I can't pin anything on him at all. Um, yeah, it was just... Let's just don't even talk about it. Let's just erase it. Like, I'm men in black right now. Where's my pen? This is my pen. All right. And you don't remember that episode. Done. So anyway, like I said, guys, at the start of this episode, I said we were going to try and get ourselves a manta ray. So I'm going to do a quick Google right now to see how to actually catch this one because he might um, have some specific taming ability where you have to, like, give him a berry or, like, feed him like the centipede. So I'm going to quickly look it up. Okay, so I was right. They have to be tamed, uh, like, conscious. Like, you can't knock them unconscious. But here's the kicker. They have to be farmed with angler gel. Angler gel is from anglerfish. Anglerfish would require me to go to the deep ocean. Well, let's get some steak and I'll think about it, alright? But for that being said, I am going to go ahead and put my crossbow away. I'm going to keep something safe, alright? I don't even know if I need my full set of armor for this one, but I'm going to keep it anyway. Um, because I think I will actually need it for getting hit in the under underwater, I guess. I wish I could have some breath tanks or something. I don't have a scuba deer yet. I know a scuba deer is hard to get. So just killing these things right now, it's like all the dossiers were reset or something. But it seems that now when you kill fish, you get fish meat. See that? Added raw fish meat. That's kind of crazy, actually. Alright, let's grab this guy. Grab his fish meat. I'm gonna have so much fish meat. I hope fish meat 
is as good as regular meat. You know what? Let's actually make some Ebolas while we're waiting. Uh, so let's go. Bola. Uh, what? Well, that is not how you spell Bola. I think they're on the first page too. There we go. Bolas. All right, there we go. So how do we make Bolas? I'm going to guess fiber and uh, fiber and rocks is what it looks like. So let's have a look here. Bola. And let's make these. It's thatch, stone, and fiber. Okay, so thatch was the only one I was missing there. Um, so we'll go farm those up. Oh, he didn't make me a sickle. Also, we're ridiculously low on metal ingots right now. Like, I'm probably going to have to do another run to get another 500 ingots out somewhere because we are dang low. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I made a promise to you guys, and I will not end this episode until we have a manta ray. So it seems that for some reason, it's, like, impossible to cook the fish. I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but the raw fish just, it's just not cooking. It's just not cooking. So I've gone outside and decided to make some type of uh, raw fish. Me this one's cooking. Okay. I'm gonna split these up. Raw fish is glitched. I checked it. It says it should be cooking on a campfire, so. Anyways, back to the Ebolas. So let's have a look here. Let's craft one of these bad boys. And uh, I guess we'll just keep one on deck, I guess. I wonder if they work underwater. It's so like underwater animals. I don't know. I'm pretty interested about these things. I'm gonna make a couple bolas and uh, get them ready to throw at some things when I need them. I mean, there's no point not having some free bolas, but sounds lit honestly i just wonder what they affect and if it's a percentage chance okay so it isn't a percentage chance at all but there is a couple that doesn't affect it so it affects merch creatures but it doesn't affect argies doesn't affect the dodegrius whatever the hell that is a parsi i don't know what that is a dire bear a carno a gigantiothibus that looks like the big gorilla trax sarcos the crocodiles uh quetzals What's a Quetzal again? Oh, yeah, the Quetzal. Um, yeah, which we tried. The Bronto and the Carabonomies. It does work on Rexes. It says here that it'll work on some Rexes. No, it doesn't work on a Rex. It, it doesn't. All right, enough playing around with the Ebola. It's time to go out, and it is time to uh, get some things rolling here. We got enough meat ready. I hope we can get some angler meats with our jaws. I hope this doesn't go down south, or otherwise I'm going to tilt off the universe. Three bad arc episodes in a row. I will cry every time. And I, I say bad in the sense that it's... I'm going to take Jaws, by the way. And if I kill Jaws... No, actually, I'm not going to take Jaws. Because Vic will be pissed if I kill Jaws. All right. Uh, let's go movement speed and, yeah, melee damage. Because I want this guy to actually kill the anglerfish and try to farm them up while he's killing them. So, I'm not sure how much angler gel I'll need. I think one kill should suffice for enough to tame it. But I have to find one, of course. So, let's go down and find one. Is there any... Oh, that's two sharks. Place already. <laughs> the thing that sucks is this guy's like energy goes down so quickly. Like, look at that. He needs a stamina level. I forgot to do that. All right, we're going down and we're fighting some angler fish here. Uh, neutral. Is that that's manta rays? Come on, we need some angler fish, guys. Angler fish, please, angler fish. I want this to be a seamless. What the fudge tiscles is that? Hello. I don't think I should have engaged in PvP with that creature. Starting to get only a little bit stressed out, considering I can't find any anglers. There's anglers around the cave last time, I remember. Please, anglerfish, I beg! A man just wants to find some bloody mother fudging anglerfish so I can tame a friggin' manta ray. But, it is not that easy, it seems. It seems that there are people in your way who just don't want you to achieve. For today's example, that one is a... Anglerfish. There's a manta ray. Oh, this is where I died last time, eh? Alright, guys. I know I talked about getting the manta rays for today's episode, but I'm sorry. I can't do this on my own. Like, and I know I'm copping out right here. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I'll have to take Jaws out. I might try and go back down with Jaws, but I need to make sure I have food on him. Because the Megalodons, this one's just not high enough level. He can't cope with the stamina. Alright guys, so in order to reclaim this episode, I'm going to head into this cave over here. Alright, so there wasn't a centipede in the other cave yesterday. I'm going to do a quick scoop around here, see if I can find one down here, and if I can... Oh boys, if I can... Oh well, if I can. Well that was much easier than I thought it would be. Come here little buddy, come with me! You stuck? No, don't do that. Can you make it through there? Wow, you are very athletic. All right, well, I'm going to be back in a jiffy. Me and Miola yesterday literally went around the whole fucking map to try and find these fuckers in that other cave. I literally walked through the front entrance 
and there's a centipede right there. My only concern is getting that thing out of here because these tight, these things are tight. Okay, we need to check the boys for some spoiled meats. Please tell me. Oh, you, that is, that's all I need, buddy. That, that's all I need. Uh, now, where's Pidgeot? Pidgeot's over here. Okay, I'm going to ride this guy. I'm going to see if I can get him inside the cave. I don't think I can. Uh, but if I could, that would be awesome because then I could take the bug out of the cave. But yeah, it, I don't think I'm going to be able to. And I think this is going to be... Very sticky situation to even get this guy out of the cave. Because you saw in that little section there, he couldn't even get out. So, Alright, so let's just test right here to see if I can actually walk this guy in. I have 0% chance thinking that he actually will. And I was correct. Alright, so, buddy, uh, if you could just come over here. It's going to have to be a solo mission by myself. Now, there was a suggestion to bring some bug repellent in there so that they won't go for you. Um, I, I'm not too fast. I've got, some, I've got a lot of spoiled meat. I'll be patient with him. I just want a centipede palace. I want centipedes. I can't believe I literally walked through the front door and there's one just right there. Like, ah. All right. There he is. Hey, dude. Oh, you're a rainbow one. No, don't be a dick. How do I feed you? Oh, that's AIDS. Wait up. You can't get past here. Haha, -ha, gotcha. No, I want to feed you. I want to feed you. Oh, shit. He broke everything. How did he do that? Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I have to be very sneaky here. Oh, come on, dude. I didn't even do anything. All right, let's have a look for other centipedes who aren't dicks. Oh, there's one right here. Why does every centipede want to try and kill me? Could you fucking not, mate? You know what, Mr. Rainbow Centipede that looks very attractive and would look really sick in my house? Uh, you're gonna get more of those if you don't start paying attention. Yeah, stay there. Nine degrees up against the wall. Don't move. All right, that's it, Mr. Centipede. I've had enough games. I've had enough games. I don't like... Why does everything... Oh, fuck. Remember when I said no deaths? All right. Well, I think I'm going to run straight there. And, uh, yeah, this is actually really, really AIDS. I can't believe it's even happening like this, but it is. And I think I need to get bug repellent to actually try and tame these guys because they don't seem to let me naturally tame them. All right. So the whole mission of this one is to just get our stuff before we die. That's the whole thing. Um, yeah. So get your stuff before you die, Lachlan. That's it. All right. There's the centipede and there's my stuff. Hello. I'm going to bait him all the way over here. Oh, but how am I going to get back up? Oh, we're going to have to be careful here. All right. We're going to perform a big movement here. Uh -oh. oh, fuck off. No, 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 no. Access, take all from, run to the exit, go, go, go before we knock out. Okay, and we're sound. And wait, actually, no, we're not. I actually don't want to attack it because it seems that everything that thing does, it just breaks your gear straight away. I don't know how it does it, but it does. So I really don't want to mess with it. It breaks your gear so easily. Broke my pike, a fresh pike. Broke all my gear, like armor, like, things dangerous, fam. All right, so at least we're learning new things about the game. And today we've learned that uh, the centipedes are not to be messed with. They are very, very bad. Oh, we need metal to repair this. Huh, we don't have any metal. <laughs> Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to be taking this set of hide and uh, chitin just because I want something and that's all that there is. Um, <laughs> feels bad, man. I just need one actual uh, ingot to repair the pike. So I'm going to wait for that and there it is. Uh, then I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm not too sure. Like that centipede, I don't actually want to mess with it because I want to break more of my stuff. Um, broke my full set of armor. Like, that's crazy. All right, so we're crafting up some stone arrows. I, I want to go down and get this anglerfish, but it's just not happening. I was reading up some guides, and it said that getting a sarco is really good for underwater caverns because apparently its stamina doesn't run out. Um, so we might have to look in that. The other thing that we'll have to look into is uh, bug repellent. Honestly, if I get some bug repellent, I might be able to go back down and tame this bad boy. Um, let me have a look. I've never actually built it before. So let's go ingrams, uh, bug Repellent. I've already unlocked it. Okay. Learning gram. Can only be crafted at the metal mortar and pestle. All right. Let's have a look at this bad boy. That was the only tip it gave on the wiki. Um, so let's have a look here. E. And let's see what we need to actually make this thing. So drugs. Uh, bug repellent. Pelts. Narcotics. Uh, which I have two of. Yep. Uh, sit. Tronil and rock carrots. All right. Well, I guess it was never too late to start this whole kind of thing. Um, now let me just check because I'm pretty sure I put all the seeds in here. I'm not sure if the seeds actually 
Like, do they have a spoil timer? Uh, they don't. So either Matt threw out all the seeds and said, fudge this stuff, or we've got some sitting in a, in a chest somewhere. So here they are. Okay. Okay. So there's pellets in here as well. I'll take those. I need these, and I need rock carrots. Yes, there they are. Okay. This could get interesting. So let's have a look. Today we're going to be a farmer, guys. All right. We're only 50 minutes into recording, and I probably have five minutes of footage, but now we're going to be a farmer. All right. So plot. We can get a small one. Let's learn it. Let's get a medium one, and hell, let's get a large one. All right. Uh, actually, we probably should have stopped at medium, but whatever. All right. So let's see. What do we need for these plots? We can make them all here. I need 100 stone and 80 pieces of wood. I think I'll uh, suffice with just two uh, medium ones for now. So I need a lot of wood and a lot of stone for these bad boys. Uh, so let's have a look here. A lot of wood and and a lot of stone. Uh, let's get the wood and let's get the stone. I think I can make one right now, but can I make two? No, I'm going to need more stone and more wood. Okay, so let's go chop those down real quick. Um, actually, let's get this thing started. I just hope, and it probably is going to be a long time. I don't think I'm going to be able to tame this thing today, uh, but I think it is going to be a long time before we actually get these things going. So uh, I'm going to put them out here out back. Actually, I'm going to put them like, all the way over here just in case we move and separate things. So let's see. Put one there. And, uh, access inventory not seated. I don't know what the proper, like, thing is for this. But, I put one there. Place an appropriate seed and fertilizer. And if watered, a plant will grow over time. Alright, what's fertilizer? I think it said that your poo was a good fertilizer. So, let's go ahead and pick that up. And, just chuck that in there. Just, just smush it in there, you know? Like, how do I do that? There we go. Just you know use it um let's get ourselves a water jar okay we need a water skin first let's get a water jar and then what do we need to make a water jar uh we need to have cementing paste crystals and hides okay so then we can maybe transport the water over here i feel like this is just going to be horrible and i should wait for matt to do something like this because i have no idea how any of the mechanics in this work but i'm going to try anyway okay i have myself a water jar now how do i fill said water jar up do i just jump in the water and it fills up uh six I don't think I'd be under what I'd be like here. Six. Perfect. Okay, it's a full... Oh, I think I just drank it again. All right, no, it's full of water. Okay. And then if I was to use it on the patch, would that, would that work? Like if I just sit over here and then six. No, I don't want to drink it for fudge sakes. All right, I think I just used it. Yep, it needs four. It needs... Okay, it needs four more. Uh, I wish I did this closer to the water now. Okay, it looks like our seed has disappeared. So that must be a good thing, right? So, I've just been informed that it takes seven days in the game uh, to go from... Actually, I said it takes one day to go from a growthling to a fruitling. No, no, sorry. Okay, it takes seven days to go from a seedling to a midling. Then it takes five days from a midling to go to a growthling. And then it takes one day from a growthling to fruiting. Sick. It's going to take ages, is what it's trying to tell us. If I do another plot, I'm going to put it right here. Actually, you know what? Let's actually get this started as well. Uh, let's get some more stone and uh, stuff to actually build this next one. I'll put it right here on this irrigation plant, which Matt has built. Thanks, thanks, Matt. You're the best. All right, so like I said, I have no idea how any of the irrigation works, but it looks like Matt's already set up one, and I wonder if I can squeeze my little plot into here uh, to try and get it to fit. So let's see if I can get it to fit right there in the irrigation plant. Like, right there it's irrigated okay there we go so the water should be filling up soon right water's not filling up oh there we go 400 out of 400 irrigated all right and then not seeded so we're gonna go ahead and chuck some rock carrots in there and hopefully i've done everything in my best interest wait can i there we go <laughs> i don't know how this is used i can provide an action to help crops grow on their plots more will be more efficient fertilizer if combined with thatch in a bin okay and with that being said oh look Look! It's already growing! Ooh! Hello! Hello! I am becoming Master Farmer! Chai member has joined the Sark! <laughs> Sarded. Sarded? Sarded? I'm sorry, I put a little bit of blood on your chest. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to wait ahead and see how this thing works. Um, I'll tell Matt and send him a Skype message that I'm trying to grow the spug repellent for uh, getting those things. It seems like it's the only way to get them because they'll ignore you and then you can actually feed them. But bug repellent is kind of like actually really annoying. Like like Matt always said, like messing with the farming stuff is really annoying. And I didn't want to do that until we had like a full house set up. But I really shouldn't have put this over here. But it's growing. 
The waters, say eh, the waters are doing too bad. Actually, you know what? This should be interesting to see how that goes. Should be very interesting. Uh, but hopefully we'll come back to those being grown. And uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to go and wrap the episode up right there. I've been recording for nearly an hour now. So I hope you guys did go and enjoy it. If you guys did, be sure to let me know with the like rating down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Later, guys.